yellowdinghy.com. Hey guys, welcome to yellowdinghy.com. It's Mario, and I'm doing a game glance on Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, part two. Fall inside, everybody in. So in this game, Harry, Ron, and Hermione continue their quest to destroy the remaining Horcruxes. And as most of you must know, Harry Potter must face Lord Voldemort for the last time and defeat him, thus ending the Harry Potter saga. Howard! Howard! It appears your headmaster has done a bunch. As for gaming options, you have the main story mode, which is broken up into various chapters with fantastic cutscenes sprinkled throughout for storytelling. You also have challenge mode, where you'll be given a scenario and you'll have to do it in your best time. As for actual gameplay, you play as various characters, not just Harry Potter. But the way the different playable characters interact are all the same. Your primary actions are magical spells. You have a defensive spell and various offensive spells like splash damage spells or armor breaking spells. And also specific to Harry Potter only, you have a teleport spell which you can use for short distances. You can focus on targets for aiming or aim from the hip to shoot your wand. If you focus on a target, there's a semi auto aim which comes in handy. You can take cover effectively throughout the game to avoid damage, and you can pop up and shoot or just blind fire your wand. As for controls, everything works great. The cover system is easy to use, movement is good, and the combat controls are good. The spell management is very straightforward. To cycle through different spells, you will use quick buttons to select the appropriate spell, and then trigger to activate it. For defensive or evading spells, they are specific button allocated, making for quick activation. Now as for multiplayer, I read a rumor that there will be a multiplayer option for this game, so maybe in future updates or DLC options. But as the game stands, presently there is no multiplayer. Do not stand in the way of the Dark Lord, Minerva! Right, Teddy. As for the graphics quality, they are varied, but for the most part are good. The character designs are exceptional, they look realistic and detailed. The environments at times are impressive and at other times are bland and blocky. The actual spells look uneventful, except for the defensive spell which looks pretty cool when you're activating a shield of magic to take cover behind. I mean, considering this is a movie game, and most movie games crash and burn in the graphics department, this game actually somewhat shines with its presentation. The audio as well is not bad. The voice acting is good, and the effects audio do the job. The background music is fine, but nothing exceptional enough to bring attention to itself. Alright, I'm gonna say it. I actually had fun playing this game. Sometimes the gameplay can get slightly repetitive and the actual storyline, you could probably knock it out in a couple days. But the big thing is that the game isn't broken, it works in the manner that it was intended to. The shooting is good, the cover system is good too, and the character designs are exceptional. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying go spend 70 bucks on this game right away, because the replayability is definitely not there, even with the challenge mode. But it's probably worth your consideration, at the very least a rent for the Harry Potter fans out there. That was Harry Potter in the Deathly Hollows Part 2, and that was a game glance from yellowdingy.com. Brilliant. Terrifying, but brilliant. <laughs>